Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In several of my videos, I have used these small wind-up mechanisms. You can find them in toys, and they are very interesting. In fact, I have a recent video where I explain how these wind-up motors work. I wanted to fabricate one myself, because one of the disadvantages of these small motors is that they last only for a few seconds. And the reason for that is that the main spring that you can see here, which is responsible for storing the energy, is uh, very small. I have one here. It is about 1 feet 30 centimeters in length. But in the old phonographs, the motors lasted for several minutes. After all, they needed to play at least one song, that is around three minutes. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Looking for sources of a large spring, I remembered tape measures. The tape measure internally has a spring that is almost as long as the tape itself. This, for example, which is 3 meters long, 10 feet, has a spring which is around 2.5 meters in length. So, the spring of the tape measure can be used to store energy and last for longer. Looking for videos uh, uh, of this topic, I found one by Grandad is an old man, an excellent channel, I recommend highly, uh, where he uses the tape measure to power a toy car. The link to his video is here in the description. Uh, and what he does is that he ties a thread to the wheels uh, of, the, of a toy car and the thread is uh, fixed here at the end of the tape. So, when the tape is about 20 centimeters and recoils, it pulls the string, the thread, and the wheels turn moving the car. But only a small part of the tape is used. The rest of the energy in the spring can be used to build a spring motor that lasts for longer. So in this video I wanted to uh, make that mechanism as a test to see if it can be usable. Here you can see the inside of the tape measure. The tape itself is here at the outer part and this in black is the spring. The center of the spring fits here in this slot so, when we pull the tape, the spring coils onto itself, storing energy, and then it can pull back the tape. What I will do is that I will take this plastic bobbin, it's from a Teflon tape. This distance is a little bit larger than the width of the tape. So. I will cut the tip of the measure tape and then roll it into the bobbin. Of course we need first to glue it here, then roll it and when the tape measure recoils it will make this bobbin to rotate and we can use this rotation for any purpose we want. I put a piece of wire here, so 
so that we can hook up the tape. You see? And now we can roll the tape around the plastic bobbin. And when the tape recoils, it makes the bobbin to rotate. I 3D printed these parts in order to put the bobbin here. And then this goes here so that we can turn the plastic bobbin and this cap here to keep it in place. So in this way we can make the tape to go around the bobbin and then let it return and obtain the rotation of the plastic bobbin. Okay, so I mounted everything on this piece of wood. As I told you, uh, the tape is inserted in that little uh, piece of wire. I also added a little bit of cyanoacrylate with sodium bicarbonate to add strength. However, uh, now that it is made, it doesn't seem like a good idea. There are several problems with this design. It has to be uh, remade. Uh, first of all, there is some, uh, this movement is, is not good. And also, when you rotate and coil the tape, there is a blob here that will prevent the tape from coiling evenly. As you can see, it has a lot of force, more than I thought. And uh, right now, this is just the proof of concept. Okay, it works, but we are not using the rotation of the bobbin for any purpose. It will be a good idea for a future project to make this lower part here a gear that will be connected to another set of gears to multiply the rotation and then use that for uh, a toy or any other purpose. Right now, if you coil it, it returns very quickly because the energy is not used for, for any other purpose. And uh, I am afraid that this system is not good enough. The force, when, it will, when we coil it and let it go, will break this part. But, to satisfy your curiosity and mine, let's make the test. Okay. Okay, to my surprise, it resisted, didn't break. However, I still think that this is not a good method for joining the tape to the bobbin. And for a future video, I need to think how to complete the mechanism in order to put it to good use. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked this idea. Let's see how it evolves and what we can do with this mechanism for a future video. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.